Hey everybody, it's Rachel from Raps by Rachel. Today is Saturday and I happen to have the day off. I decided because I, um, it feels like I've done a lot in the last like few days, but it's because I haven't done a lot in the last few weeks. So I went on a haul and today I went to a store that's called Unique Thrift. I also stopped by McDonald's and um, I'm just pointing out, hey, did you know that you can get braille menus from McDonald's. They have just the most delicious feel and I'm kind of opening it up. So it's like a big sort of two page um, kind of thing. And all you have to do is ask. Now, to be fair, I kind of got some crap when I asked for this because the people there, including the manager, didn't know where they were storing them. And then I got the, well, um, do you really need that? And to which I said, yes, because I don't think it's legal to ask if you need a braille menu. If you ask for one, you should be able to get one. Anyhow, so I got that and I'm I'm gonna be utilizing this. I may cut it like into strips. I, I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna use that, but um, yeah, I got that for free. So moving that to the side. Anyhow, so I went to Unique Thrift and I also stopped by a estate sale. And this is, this is what I got today. So first I got, see all these, these ribbons here. I got all of these ribbons for, whoops, this just wants to fall. <clears throat> I got all of these ribbons for a whopping $3. And the reason that I wanted it mostly was for this ribbon right here, which is kind of a, um, it's, it looks like it's never been utilized. Seven foot of ribbon and um, it's kind of antique -y brown with the green and the navy and I just thought that was really pretty. We also have this looks like it has never been opened either. Uh, ribbon Boutique. Here we have um, 15 feet and and look at how cool that is. It's kind of a felt cutout looking sort of something or other. Um, it's originally from Michael's. They were selling it for $7 for this thing if you paid full price for it. And uh, yeah, so got that one. There are three of these little ones. All of this stuff looks like, um, this one looks like it's never pink one, or I'm sorry, orangey one, has never been utilized. The other ones have, um, but they're just like a very tiny little ribbon with the little um, decorative edges. So I have green and yellow and this pretty orange. There's also some pretty pinkish lace ribbon. This says it's four yards. And this one, which is just really beautiful. Um, so it says 150 yards and a silky one eighth ribbon. And you can see it just, it just graduates to the different colors. I mean, how how pretty, and Karma says, this ribbon is fascinating and I am gonna claw it with my claws. Um, but yeah, that looks like, looks like nobody has ever utilized that. Then there's a bunch of ribbon that's kind of more like what I would call like craft ribbon um, in a bunch of various colors. Put that to the side. Here is some more craft ribbon that's kind of like stripey. That looks like fruit stripe gum to me. This one, this is, looks like it's never been utilized. Water repellent fused edge acetate, 100 yards. I'm gonna call that kind of a, kind of like an olive green kind of color. Looks like a color that my sister would, would wear. And then this is, I don't even know what to call this. This, um, it says Berwick curling ribbon. It's almost like the kind of ribbon that maybe you would put, like if you're tying balloons up together, something along those lines. You see, Karma is just supervising everything here today. Karma often supervises his mommy. Okay, then of course, you know, what's a haul for me if I don't get some little golden books? Um, I just love them so much. 
So I got the um, this book, The Twelve Dancing Princesses. This just, it looks kind of like Renaissance, uh, medieval sorts of, um, uh, like that's the style that they, that they did here. It's really pretty. We have the cat that climbed the Christmas tree. That may wind up going to my sister Tori. She's always talking about her cat <laughs> climbing up the Christmas tree. Um, the golden book about cats and um, a vintage copy of the Christmas story. And then I also got, um, this is really cool. I think that this is Italian, Italian um, Don Quixote, and it's comic book style. So I'm gonna cut that up, that's lots of fun. And let's see, I also got the Oxford Dictionary of Quotations. Um, this is just is super, super crazy cool. Um, I'm loving that. And the other books that I got, these three, three books I got from that um, estate sale. And it was just sort of a spur of the moment. It's like, hey, I've got the day off. Maybe I could also try going to an estate sale. And there was one that was not that far from where I live. And the little advertisement for it said, it's a picker's paradise and um, stock to the brim. Well, that is just a, I'm putting my shiny face here. Okay, so if you ever, coming in a little better. Excuse me, Kaima. Okay, if you ever see an estate sale ad and it says that it's stock to the brim or that it's a picker's paradise, do you know what that's a code word for? Code words. Hoarder house, oh my gosh. This was like the third day of this sale and like there was just this tiny little path to get through. It was just like, I'm amazed I didn't like twist an ankle and kill myself. Um, and the, yeah, this tiny little apartment was just jam packed with books, mostly like kind of like romance books, which I personally have no interest in. If if that's something you like to read, great. I hope you enjoy that, but um, not something I'm particularly interested. Tons of romance novels, and um, but I did find a few books, and what I found was pretty cool. So let me show you what I found. Um, so there were these two books. So we have the history of Richard the First, and then the history of Richard the Second, and it's just kind of a really sort of like palm size, kind of nice little size the um it feels really nice um there's some interesting little um little um pictures and maps and stuff in here really what i wanted these for and these were two dollars each i am planning on gutting these books and um i'm going to then make them into like little mini journals and i will probably just um use the um, papers inside for like other things but that is that is what I, I plan to, to do with them. And they're in pretty nice condition. So I'm putting those to the side. And then I found this really adorable Raggedy Ann stories. It you know has a really nice feel to the cover. Look at that cute little um, emblem on the back. And um, so yeah, there's some pictures here that are like in color and most of them are in black and white, and it's just kind of adorable. And again, I will probably um, use this for um, making a journal, cutting the majority of this out, or perhaps doing it like an altered book. Not real sure which, I'm, which one I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna use that for making a journal. Okay, so um, the rest of what I got, oh my gosh, look at this. Sealed in the package, um, stencil pack, it says it has eight different stencils. So there's like teddy bears and a ballerina and um, animals and princes and castles and eight stencils for a dollar. That's pretty sweet. Um, and then I got this flower press. I did kind of open it up um, out of the rubber band. It seems like everything is there. I know that I could use, I've got tons of books. I know I could use books to press flowers, but um, this is probably, you know, I'm coming over from my shiny face again. Hey, Kaima, gonna come over and be with you? 
Put my face over here near Karma. Yeah, pet him while I'm, pet him while I'm talking. Okay, so um, I could probably just, you know, like use a dictionary or something like that to um, press flowers, but knowing my luck, then I would like forget that I did that and then they would be like lost forever. So if I have an official flower press, then uh, I'll have to retrieve my flowers. And so that's why I got this. So there we have it. And I imagine that with the press, I can probably use that for other kinds of crafty things too. Right, Karma? Right. Okay, coming back over here. And the very last thing that I got, this is pretty sweet. This is a, um, seems like it's new in the package, Spirograph set. And that is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, look at this. I mean, we have like, like, a, a little notebook for Spirograph and a little Spirograph stuff. And, uh, this may go to work with me so that like when I'm at lunch, maybe I'll make like cards with Spirograph stuff on it. Why not? And there we have it. So that was my haul. Hopefully, um, if you like this, hit the like button. And you, if you have comments, go ahead and comment. Um, coming back over here so you can see my shiny face. Hello. Um, so, Karma and I love getting your comments. We um, are very happy to um, chat with you, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, and please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already hit the subscribe button. And hopefully have a great day. Okay, bye.